Hello everybody, Abbot's Brother here, and this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to get Tomb Raider Legend running on your PC when you launch it from Steam. Because right now, when we click play, uh, the game will load up, get the basic splash screen, get the NVIDIA logo, get the game splash, and then it crashes. And it says it's a fatal error has occurred while playing Tomb Raider Legend. Please refer to the README file for information which might help you solve this problem or contact IDOS customer support. And when you go extended information, you have these additional codes down here. And CPU info, which to me always struck me as rather odd. Um, the actual issue is with data execution prevention on Windows. And what you need to do is add Tomb Raider Legend as an exception. So Windows does not prevent it from running code, basically. So what you need to do, I'm on Windows 7, obviously, but this is also on Windows 10. Uh, you need to go to System, Advanced System Settings. Under the Advanced tab of System Properties, you need to go to Performance, click Settings, then go to Data Execution Prevention. Then you need to select Turn on DEP for all programs and services except those I select and choose Add. So now you need to browse to where your game executable is, which is trl.exe. In my case, it's Games Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Tomb Raider Legend. Select it and click Open. And now it's in this list. And you can click Apply and then OK. Clicking OK also automatically applies that. And that should be it. So now let's click play and see what happens. Splash. Video splash. Intro video. And here we are. Now there are a few other things that I've done with this game to make it run a little more steadily, so if you want to have the exact same system configuration as me, uh, this is just in case you run into additional problems. Uh, you want to run it in compatibility mode. So right click on the game title, go to properties, goes uh, browse local files. I have my Tomb Raider trl.exe set to running compatibility for Windows XP, and I'm running it as administrator. And one final little tweak to get it to run. Let's go to setup. Uh, basically, there's a feature here, next generation content. That included uh, a couple of new effects and, and settings with lighting that were pretty advanced at the time, I guess, but it can cause system instability, crashing, flickering textures, and all kinds of stuff, so you need to make sure you have that disabled. Uh, otherwise, that's it. Hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, uh, give me a like, and uh, thanks for watching.